Today we're going to start learning all the facts we can about reindeer. This pack is a non-fiction text. It has lots of non-fiction text about reindeer. So, on, we're going to complete our first flap, which is introduction, and we're gonna use some wrap to answer these questions. So let's read the passage first. Reindeer are large mammals. All mammals have hair or fur on their bodies and feed their babies milk. They are a type of deer that are also known as caribou. In Europe, they are called reindeer all the time. In North America, they are called caribou in the wild and when domes domesticated or kept as pets, they're called reindeer. So now that we've read that, let's look at our first question. Our first question says, what makes a reindeer a mammal? Now, if we're looking back in the text, can we find the text that says um, why reindeer are a mammal? I see it. It says, all mammals have hair or fur on their bodies and feed their babies milk. So I'm going to say they have hair or fur fur on their bodies and feed their babies milk. So that is my first one. Now I'm not going to do it for you, but I'm going to walk you through it. When we answer a question, we use wrap. We always make sure we restate the question, answer the question, and then prove it with text evidence. So I'm going to put wrap up there. So what makes reindeer a mammal? I would say what makes a reindeer a mammal is, that's restating, is that they have hair or fur on their bodies and they feed their babies milk. So that's why I know that reindeer are a mammal because they have hair or fur on their body and they feed their babies milk. So I'm answering it and I actually have two prove -its. One is they have hair or fur, and the other one is that they feed their babies milk. So your job is to write your sentence on that answers this. Now don't forget to restate the question and answer the question with proof. What makes a reindeer a mammal? And then I can say what makes a reindeer a mammal is, and then I highlighted my proof. I found my proof in the text. If you want to pause the video to write your answer, go ahead and do that. Let's move on to question number two. It says, what is another name for a reindeer? As a good reader, I need to find my answer in the text. Now it says, deer are also known as caribou. So there is my proof. I'm going to highlight it. So, what is another name for reindeer? I'm going to put wrap. I'm going to put it over here for space issues. I'm going to restate my question. Another name for reindeer is, and I can say, caribou. If I have more space, I can talk about how in Europe they're always called reindeer. In America, it depends if they're wild or not. But I'm definitely going to restate my question and answer my question. And we always have to highlight our evidence too. So again, what is another name for reindeer? When I restate the question, I say another name for reindeer is, and then I list my proof. Now, we have two P's for proof and wrap. Sometimes the text just doesn't have all that proof, and that's okay. We can try our best. Now my proof is right here, so I only have one proof. So when you answer this question, please make sure that you restate the question and answer it, but you might only have one proof, and that's okay. Thanks so much.